Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Booth, the maker behind Embellish Education. As you might be able to tell, I am a leopard fanatic baby. Leopard, cheetah, you name it, I love it. What's the difference between leopard and cheetah? I'm gonna tell you. Leopard is the two tone spots. Cheetah has one spot. Usually looks a little bit more round. I mean, there you go, you getting useful information every day from me now. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this glitter acrylic cup. Now I know what you're thinking. Glitter is a little bit messy, but messy can be beautiful. So embrace the mess. Grab your vacuum so that your husband won't kill you. I'm going to be showing you how to make this cup and at the very end I'm going to be telling you information about a giveaway. So make sure you watch the whole video so you know how to enter the giveaway. Uh, we're gonna be using my hand-drawn leopard font today too, as well as glitters from the company, The Glitter Guy. Their glitters are affordable and amazing coverage. You guys are gonna love them. Check them out at theglitterguy.com. As we go through this, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than my past tutorials, but I still think that it's easy enough for anyone to be able to do. I'll show you the specific ways how to make three different kind of leopard spots, as well as sealing it um, at the end so that glitter won't flake off of it on top of you. So buckle up and follow along as we make this awesome cup. Let's go ahead and get into our materials. For this project, you are gonna need an acrylic cup. Um, I got this from Save a Cup, and then one inch painter's tape, and then I use these three glitters from the Glitter Guy. I have Twilight, Latte, and then Sands of Time. Um, so you can get those from their website, theglitterguy.com. So I also used um, some dishwasher safe Maj Paj, and as well as a one inch thick um, foam brush and then just a really small skinny brush to do your leopard spots and let's talk about the sealant at the end I use polycrylic this is not the type you want it says semi clear you want clear gloss okay so let's get started so the first thing you're going to do is take your painter's tape you're going to put it all the way around your cup um, just to kind of section it off then you're going to use your Maj Paj um, to do your first coat so I put it on uh, I put on a lot, but I put it on so that it's very thin, um, so there's no that streaky lines. Then I'm going to put my um, Sands of Time, which is like your tan, on, and you're going to take your, your tape off right away. Um, that, so then when the Mod Podge dries, it doesn't like rip up with your tape. To kind of speed up my process, I use an embossing, um, like a heat gun, to try to like make it dry faster but you could also just wait or you could use a hair dryer um, but you definitely want to wait at least 30 to 45 minutes until you do your second coat you're going to need a second coat because the cup is clear and you don't want anything to show through so you definitely do a second coat on there and then I use my heat gun again uh, I'm just going to use this handy dandy brush that I actually use to dye my hair but you know sometimes you just gotta use things more than once for different projects right of course i washed it people come on so i want to take off all my extra um glitter not just because i love it and want to save it but because i don't want it to um, come off when i'm putting on my spots so we're going to start my spots so you want to think in your mind this is the base spot this is the brown for the leopard so it's going to be like underneath your black lines so what I tell people is I want you to make almost like clouds. So you don't want a perfect circle. Um, you want almost like an oval that is irregular. So, so when you're filling your cup with these clouds, it's all on preference um, for your size. So some people do them really big. Some people do them really small. Um, you just want to make sure that you don't fill the whole thing up with the brown spots because when you go to add your black outline, you can fill in uh, and any empty spaces with small black dots and you'll understand when we get a little bit further into it so i'm just going to go ahead and go around my whole cup and fill this all in with my brown and i'm going to show you what this is looking like 
This uh, almost looks like a cow pattern or a giraffe pattern. So if you wanted to make a cow cup or a giraffe cup, this would be your step that you would take. But this is just the base, I guess you would say, of your leopard spot. And then we're going to do our black around it. This part feels awkward because it just doesn't look complete, um, but trust me, when you add the black, it will look really good. Also, don't worry about it being perfect because all leopards look different. God created them all different. Therefore, you have free reign to do a totally different leopard spot and it will still look beautiful, just like a leopard. My biggest advice is just make sure that everything is dry. So when it comes time to do your black, you don't want your black to be inside of where the brown is. You want it to be a crisp outline. So you really need to make sure that this brown is dry. We're ready to get into our outline of our leopard. I'm gonna show you three ways to do um, the outline for your leopard spots. This way is gonna be called the triple line. So you're gonna do three lines, not connecting around it. So you're gonna kind of outline it in three different spots, but don't connect the three lines. Um, and you're gonna kind of want to make the middle of each of the lines a little bit thicker than the out part, the outside part. So you can see it kind of jutting it out almost like a triangle, like a rounded out triangle. Um, it's the best way to describe it, I suppose. So we're gonna see how this looks. I'm gonna put my black on this. Some people add black paint into their Mod Podge um, just so they can see it a little bit better while they're doing it. Um, so this is the triple line, triple outline we'll call that. The next one is called a non-closed outline. So you're gonna go all the way around it and then you're gonna come pretty close to close it, but you're not gonna close it. So you're gonna leave like a little gap. So I'm gonna go all the way around it and outline it, kind of make it thicker in spots, give it that um, rounded out triangle in the corner, bring it all the way around, but then don't close it. This one's easy, a little bit easier um, than the triple line and see how it kind of give it a little bit of a point, like it's thicker in some areas and then it gets thin right where it's about to close, but then it doesn't close. So that is your almost closed, but don't close it. <laughs> you could actually close it too, that'd be a good one too. So the next one is a C. So I'm just gonna make a C and then you could do that or you can make a wishbone. Um, so it kind of looks like that rounded triangle wishbone look. Um, and that you're gonna, you could do uh, in the spaces. So that's why we want to keep those open spaces when you're doing your brown, because then you can fill them in with these smaller black um, spots that will really pull it together for like that really authentic leopard look. Sometimes it helps to look at a picture of um, leopard print while you're working on this. That way you can kind of get some ideas of shapes, um, but I've just been doing it for so long that I don't need to do that anymore. But that is how I started. I looked at the print. Now it is time to seal our glitter so that none of it flakes off when we're drinking onto our hand. So you're going to just use the same um, one inch painter's tape to tape it all off again so that you don't get the sealant up under it. Um, and for this tutorial, I am going to seal it with polycrylic um, sealant. And you can get that at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, you could also use epoxy resin, but I'm not gonna get that into that today, but I will in the future. Um, Cause this cup is a double walled cup, you could definitely use um, some resin to seal this and that would be safe. Mm -hmm. 
When you're done, make sure you take off the painter's tape and then you want to keep this overnight to dry. Now I'm gonna be working in design space to make my mom decal. I'm gonna go ahead and just type out mom and then I'm gonna be using my hand-drawn cheetah font and that's available in my Etsy store as well as my website, embellisheducation.com. Um, so I'm going to try to space it just a little bit closer together. So first you could also, um, you do your line space and I'm gonna just kind of fiddle around to see what looks good to me. Aesthetically, I like things to be a little bit closer together. Um, so I'm just playing around. It looks like negative two, too much. Okay, so we're gonna do negative one, yep. And I'm gonna resize this to be four inches. Usually my decals on cups are between 3.5 or four inches. Um, you know, honestly, I'm just gonna fix this. I'm gonna ungroup it because my O is a little bit closer than I want it. Just move it over just a little bit. Okay, uh, group them all together and weld, and we are ready to cut. Always save your project, guys. If you've been following uh, this channel for a while, my videos, you know, always save your project. Seriously, you never know when it's going to disappear. Once your cup is dry, it's done and ready to be filled up with whatever you like. If that is wine and you are a mom, I do not judge you. Now here's information for a giveaway. I'm giving away my hand-drawn leopard font and the glitter guy is giving away a $20 gift card. So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and drop a comment below and you will be entered to win that. So one lucky winner will win a gift card and the hand-drawn font. So good luck guys, and I'll see you next Friday for another tutorial. Bye.